Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today what I wanted to do was I wanted to get the other uh, room set up. So for the um, shop down below. And that's going to take a little bit of time to do, I think. Um, especially with everyone working on the textile stuff now. So um, We have a couple different projects and stuff. I think some of them are builders as well. I'm not sure actually. Uh, what kind of quality is that item? Uh, fine, that's good. Nice. So I don't know where he's going to be taking that uh, to that particular room. So that that's pretty far to take the stuff, I think. Though I don't know if there's an actual better way of um, controlling that, to be honest. So see here what we got he's gardening crafting we don't actually have anyone building at the moment let's see if there's any particular way we can get people to build uh, so they're generally a builder these guys are sleeping uh, smithing I don't think we do we yeah they're everyone's basically occupied the only other builder during the day is currently on um, a travel so uh, they're traveling at the moment so we're gonna be going to the philosophers and trading for some bricks I think I can't remember what I was going over there for I think I needed bricks for finishing this part yeah I think that's what I needed and uh, yeah so basically we were, were able to get the textile place up and running last episode so that's basically the room that we got here. Looks really good. Happy with the detail work and stuff. Not sure what the temperature is inside. 20, 20 degrees. Not too bad. Giving that it's only spring at the moment. But uh, yeah, so the project for today is basically getting that part in. Uh, we can start moving stuff over, I think. Uh, we'll get a couple of these workstations in as well. Um, I think that we could probably fit a couple of these in and then we'll um, have one for decorations and then the other one for making bricks and stuff like that. So we need to find a place for them though. <laughs> probably do the same layout maybe. Something like this. And then we can do another one over here. Something like
right, so our settler just came back. Uh, we're here, so hopefully some people will start carrying in the um, animals. And we got a bunch of stuff here. We got some gold coins. We got some limestone bricks. Some bricks as well, so we got quite a bit of stuff here. And we're just going to chop that down, and then we can tell them to start planting these as well. That's right, we have to do that one at a time. Totally forgot. It's easier to do it... Like, I really wish you could select multiple ones and then check that box. It'd really make it a lot easier to manage the um, things. But uh, we should be able to, to finish this project now. Uh, now that we have all that set up, so that'll be good. And it looks like we have quite a bit of limestone here. I think the dogs are still bringing it in. Yeah, looks like it. And uh, yeah, so one of the things that I got set up was I'm telling them to stockpile armor over here. So when there's a battle or whatever, we can just tell them to equip that armor and they'll be able to equip the stuff over on this side. So we have our gamb gambisons, uh, mail, and uh, our heavy armor will go here. I'm not sure if I selected it correctly. The armor. Yeah, we got plated armor there. That should be good. Now I just need to check. Yeah, so these should be on high, so they should be able to transport those over. Um, if not, then it's not too far away, I don't think, but just kind of like trying to make things logistically better for managing all the stuff. So like when there's battle or whatever, we have the wood there for defense and then we also got the armor so they can, they'll be already heading over here to equip it. Also, because they don't have the armor on at the moment, it'll make them a lot more faster to get to the armor. So, at least that's the general idea. Um, I noticed that they're moving a lot faster, so it might also help with production as well. So, I'm hoping that's the case, but we'll see. I'm not sure entirely how it's going to turn out, or if there's anyone that's going to die because of it, but... Uh, I could equip light armor to them, but that's also impairs them a little bit, I think, too, so for the speed and some of these people don't walk that fast so I don't know trying to keep it as good as possible but you know it just is so
Alright guys, so we got uh, quite a stuff built already. Uh, we're still working on a few different things, but uh, we do have a negotiation in 14 hours, uh, which will be um, going ahead and resisting. Uh, it's just the looters, so it's not anything too important. Um, if it was another faction that we wanted to do, then yeah, sure, I think we would have been able to do that, but... Given that they're permanently hostile and everything, I don't care too much. So, uh, we do get to try out something new though. And I'm going to, like, I have a whole bunch of armor uh, set up over here and near our gate. And I want to see if equipping their armor and having them come over here will actually benefit um, our response time for getting to the gate and stuff like that. Now I also have a couple barriers set up just in case we need to retreat into our fort, but um, yeah, I just I'm just I'm just curious to see if like actually getting them to come over here manually will work good, and we could um, get them equipped. And then because they're running faster with the um, without the armor and stuff on, because we had pretty heavy armor armor on them. I'm almost wondering if um, having it so only like they go pick up the armor when they need it, that might work. It might also help with the um, wear and tear on it too. Now if that's the case, then we might be able to put a armory, we might be able to move the cows and put the armory over here or over there somewhere. I'm not sure where I want it just yet, but... Um, there's a few options where we can put it, and there should be a medical bay. We could put the medical bay over here instead. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can come up with. But um, we're still working on that one project, and I just want to give this a dry run and see if the um, equipping the armor and stuff will help with the um, stuff, like for getting that everyone over there. So we do have some things here that aren't fully over there just yet but we'll keep an eye open and see if there's anything that we can do uh, to improve and we'll kind of observe how this is going to turn out so but yeah uh at the moment they're just working on this part now and getting the roof and stuff in so that's good let's uh, get edward Ed where's edward edward's going to build that. We're going to tell them to get the roof stuff built, I think. That should bring us to morning. Alright, so yeah, it's one of the things that we got done today was we got the um, stone place set up. 
so I wanted to get that place set up and we did that so that's good to go uh, we did that battle that battle turned out pretty good and um, I'm just about to purchase a wolf from this guy over here he has a uh, domesticated wolf now it says level 15 for taming and stuff but um, I was thinking maybe we could actually set up something over here in this area but I wanted to see if we can't purchase that quickly uh, let's see here scroll all the way up to see what he has okay we have that wolf there so 37 that's not too bad actually we could probably sell a little bit more to him uh, let's see, boot roots. We might be able to sell a couple of those. Yeah, so something like that. That should do well. We're already sending somebody over to that faction anyway, so we'll be able to get some more points with them. But um, I think that's a pretty fair deal for a wolf. So, accept that. Alright, so the wolf's ours. I'm going to get him to... Um, we're going to have to remove some of that. And I'm going to just tidy this up. And we'll put in... Oh, some animal feed here. Now I know this is... Like our entrance area. The sad part is I don't have really anywhere else to put it at the moment. So we're going to have to... Um, figure something out for a uh, pen or something like that but uh, we'll put animal feed here as well. We'll set that to very high. Good. Alright, so that will be good. Um, not sure if North can... Oh, we still need a um, pen marker too, right? Yeah, I'll sort that out um, right now. I'll just put that pen marker down. Anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video. Uh, we got a lot done today, and we have a couple more episodes still to do, so definitely tune in for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.